Hello, in this video we're going to discuss how the Earth orbits the Sun. So, uh, the Earth orbits the Sun and the entire orbit has to be within one meter. And this is because if the Earth goes outside one meter, uh, then we have an ice age. And if it's less than a meter, if it's a meter closer to the sun, uh, then things become too hot to live on. Right, so um, as we discussed earlier about uh, planet rotation involves gravity element. How the Earth orbits the sun uh, is not achieved using gravity element in the way that was described as far as uh, Earth's rotation. So the Sun does have gravity element on it and that is used for one purpose only to produce an atmosphere and that is all. So the gravity element on the Sun is not used for planet rotation at all. So uh, how is uh, Earth's orbit achieved? Well, uh, the Earth and the Moon and everything within high orbit are inside a dimension. So uh, that dimension is Earth's orbital dimension. And the Holy Spirit detects particle movement into and out of that dimension and allows them through with wormholes. So whenever we send satellites uh, from Earth to other planets, uh, they pass through that, um, the wall of the dimension, which is in uh, upper orbit. It's out past upper orbit, um, out past the distance to the moon. And uh, how light enters and exits the Earth's orbital dimension as through angel vision. So when we look at the sun and we receive uh, light and heat from the sun, uh, that light is teleported in through wormholes. The Earth's orbital movement is achieved by use of wormholes around this dimension, uh, bringing the Earth's orbital dimension around the Sun. So the reason why we have uh, the Earth orbiting the Sun is so that, for one purpose only, so that astronomers can measure accurately the distance from Earth to other stars and spatial objects. And how that is achieved is they look at the star through a telescope from one point and then six months later from another point and it gives the astronomer uh, a distance and angles of which they can use Pythagoras theorem in order to calculate the distance to the star accurately if their math is good. So uh, that is how Earth's orbital dimension is achieved and the reason why and how light and particles enter and exit that dimension is through the Holy Spirit which detects particle movement and places uh, wormholes around objects in order to allow them to go into the universe's dimension and to and from Earth's orbital dimension uh, as their physical movement dictates. So this is different uh, and of course the light is done through wormholing particles of light to the eyes of all people and life that have eyes. 
So we don't notice it, but it's all angel vision. Uh, other examples of angel vision is when you see galaxies move. So the movement of galaxies has been uh, observed by astronomers. What they don't know is that stars cannot be ignited until the galaxies stop moving because of the nature of the wormhole that fuels the star. So when we look at distant galaxies and stars, what we're in fact seeing if they're moving is strictly angel vision. So it is uh, God's way of indicating uh, the presence of a galaxy that is moving. So uh, it is something remarkable to observe galaxies moving, but the theory of the Big Bang is a problem uh, because uh, there was no Big Bang. And explosions don't make planets or stars. It's a very complex and uh, it's a very complex task to construct a planet or a star. And there's a reason why there's a, a star, a planet and a moon. It is not just by coincidence or accident or, or an explosion. There's a path that God followed in order to create these special objects in order for planets to be livable, to be able to live on. So uh, that's uh, a big, 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 big secret that humankind now knows upon seeing this video. I'm the Archangel Daniel and I'm from heaven.